Hear ye, hear ye. Halina't magsama-sama para sa solid, okay, verbal jousts. Today's topic, 54th graders versus one Manny Pacquiao. All right, welcome everyone to the first episode of Verbal Jousts. I am Ryan Puno. I will be your host this fine day. For those of you that are wondering what this show even is, the Verbal Jousts is a weekly clash of words featuring Bobo topics, strong opinions, and of course, funny comedians. And let's so let's go meet these funny comedians right now. Your jousters in Team One, the Lady of Solid OK, Sari Estrada. Joust, joust. Joust, joust. Her teammate, the resident foreigner of Solid OK, Aldo Cuervo. Aldo, this is an audio medium. Nobody sees. No one sees what you're doing right now. <laughs> oh, hello, everybody. It is I, Aldo Cuervo. Off to a smashing start already. In team number two, the... Big man of Solid OK, Alexio Tabafunda. Chop, chop. Ooh, damn. That's for you guys. Coming up with taglines early in the game. Very nice. And then the king of Pangasinan comedy, the one and only Andren Bernardo. Hello. Hell yeah, guys. Thank you for inviting me. I sense the excitement already. Inviting you, you are part of this. Like, oh, okay. oh, 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 oh. you have no choice. <laughs> you have no choice but to be here right now. Stop <laughs> making it sound like you're special. <laughs> I am. I am sorry. I don't. I don't appreciate you doing that. To me. All right. I like it. I'm kidding. Getting testy early. Ooh. All right. Like Energy all right. is good for a good joust. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wonderful. So, how's everyone doing? How's How's everyone feeling this fine Monday? Let's start with uh, team number one, Aldo and Sari. Mm, yes, I th- I'm feeling very jousty today. Feeling That's what jousty. I was going to say. Ooh, we are already on the Ooh, same page. Yeah, we're we on the very same nice. page. We're going to take these chums, these chumps. Ooh, <laughs> some trash talk already. <laughs> how about team two, Alexa and Andrin? How are you guys feeling today? Uh, kami ni Andrin, we're already, your minds namin are like, now we're already finishing Ooh. each other's words. Mm. <laughs> so much chemistry going on in team number two. But let's start off with the rules, just so you know, to organize this chaos. Each team will take turns defending their side. And uh, as was mentioned in the intro, today's topic 54th graders versus one Manny Pacquiao. So after you take turns, and after each team has struck twice, You'll then engage in a formal clapback. And during this time, each team must address what's been said to them. So you can't just say things the entire time. You also must address what's being said to you. From there, I shall release your chains and a free-for-all shall commence until I, the host, have determined a winner. Each of you will have three minutes maximum per round. And at any time, if I like what you say, I shall ring an official bell just to show that I like what you're saying and it's going really well for you guys right now. Let us begin! (laughs) First, first we shall determine who uh, will be defending what. As mentioned, the topic today is 54th graders versus one Manny Pacquiao. Alexio, who will win in a fight? Who would win in a fight? Yes. yes we have to uh, let's make yes. that clear. Yes. This, is, this is not yeah. an academic contest. <laughs> this is a fight. Yes. This is not an essay writing contest. This is mm-hmm. a good old fashioned street fight um, between no 54th graders and one Manny Pacquiao. Where are they? I just want to, like, where is this set? Um, a street fighter like arena. <laughs> You know, mm-hmm. we could be in a bathhouse or like it's a market. Pier. Oh, the pier. I want to know, mm. do they have access to like objects or is it just no, like... No, it's like a void. Let's just say they're in a void. Okay. No, no external objects. No okay. shanks, mm-hmm. knives. Yeah, parang, parang training area ng mga fighting games. Yes, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Or parang okay. sa mga superhero movies, yung parang that parang grid room, you know, those kinds of things. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, parang room ni Batman. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so lot... cerebro. <laughs> yes. They are fighting Coming. in cerebro. Wonderful. Okay, I'm glad the uh, the rules have been set. Um, Alexio, if you would be so kind as to determine the the random side. Yes. yes. The random side that will be assigned to each team. How's everyone? What would you like, Sari? What side would you want to be on? I don't want to say because I might, like, I don't even know yet. All right. I just want to come in, like... Come in cold. Yeah, come in cold. Andrin, how about you? What side are you hoping for? Uh, uh, oh, I'm not a coward. I'm going to say what side okay. I want. Uh, I want side... Oh, of, my uh, God. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wait. Fired. So, um, as Andrin was saying... <laughs> And so it shall be, man. Ooh, team two taking one Manny, Manny Pacquiao, Pacquiao. And team one of Aldo and Sari taking on 54th graders. I'm perfectly good with yeah. that. Wonderful. Um, I'm perfectly ready for this too. Uh, do you want to go first? Sure, I can go first. Go together, please keep in mind that oh, in, yeah. in each strike, you may speak together as a team. You may bounce and figure it out as you go along. Okay. There you go. Then so, so it shall be. So please remember to take notes of what's being said because mm-hmm. you will have a formal clapback midway through the show. And now, let us commence the first strike. Team one arguing that 54th graders would defeat one Manny Pacquiao. Your time starts now. Okay. All right. So I want to start with that Pacquiao is not in his prime anymore, guys. We have to admit that he is in his 40s. He just lost a match versus Ugas. It's 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 a you know sign of the times that you know he's he's getting old. His joints are getting creaky, mm-hmm. and he was once a hero. We're very very proud of him and all that. But then these kids, 50 fourth graders, can't take him on very easily. They've these got kids are the future. In. These kids are the future, mm-hmm. diba? You know, they've got gang mentality. You know, like, there are 50 of them. Let's say, like, all right. Like, how how much does Pacquiao weigh? Around, like, 70 kg? More like, or less. Versus 50. 50. Uh, 54th graders, like, 40 kg each. That's, like, 2,000 kilograms. That force versus the 70, k- 70 kg of Pacquiao is nothing. And I might add that these are 54th graders with something to prove. Ooh. Yes. Chip on their shoulder. Ding, like, ding, ding. I agree. They haven't done much yet. They haven't shown uh-huh. the world who they is yet. Mm-hmm. Manny Pacquiao, medyo coasting na yan eh. Mm-hmm. Kampante mm-hmm. na yan eh. Gets, gets. People know his style na. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here. Here, here. Yeah. And like, when you take away the powers from the legs, you defeat them. Like, Ooh. and they're all around the height of like Pacquiao's what, torso? Mm-hmm. Like, just above like his hip. Mm-hmm. If they all attack his legs, Pacquiao loses all his power. If he's on the ground, like his punching force has like it's 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 divided by a lot. Nice. Balana, game over. Wonderful. Aldo with the karate kid rationale, sweep the leg. Fifty fourth graders is like more than a section mm-hmm. in a class. Mm-hmm. That's bigger than one section. Yeah. That's so a, I'm yeah. just saying just the just by the mass of that. Yes. Fair point. Fair point. Anything else? We have to say that they are, these kids, they're a scrappy bunch, okay? You know, like some of these kids are there working part time after school, you know, helping their parents Damn. out, you know, carrying sacks of rice, carrying all their. Wait, books. I will admit, I don't know the background of these kids. I know, yeah, I'll giving it back. <laughs> yeah. what, whatever you want, really. Okay, let's say I'm I just can saying see the you've average. made them kid workers. <laughs> <laughs> With, okay. Working by the docks. <laughs> a, a lot. Like it's it's just a testimony of um, the state of our country. A lot of thirty seconds. You know, a lot of people are living below the poverty line, and these kids have to work. They have to carry all their books, and they have to travel a lot. They have to they have to walk to school. These kids are strong. Got it. Fifteen seconds. Sorry. Anything to say to add to that? To these strong kids. They're just really really strong. They're pretty damn strong. <laughs> all right, and thus closes the first strike of team number one. Team number two, your first strike shall commence now. Oi, Andren, my friend. Mm-hmm. Yes, election, my friend. You know why I hate the word potential. 
Why? Why is that? Because it only means that you haven't gotten it done. Damn right, buddy. Uh, 62, 8, and 2. Mani Pacquiao. <laughs> Once and again, he has proven himself that he deserves the title of Fighter of the Year. <laughs> ano ba? Really it, sige, isa isa natin yung 54th graders niyan, pare. Parang, parang speed bag lang yun eh. Tatakbo siya sa kanya, tapos bap 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 lang siya hanggang matapos. Oh. Di ba? Oh. Pero parang, <laughs> yung kaya nga lang sinabi ni Muhammad Ali, pare. Move like a butterfly, punch 4th graders. Di ba, Alexa? Oh, oh. Something like yun. that, no? <laughs> Something like that. Something along that. <laughs> uh, pare, footwork. Yes. Punching mm. power. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. People forget that Manny Pacquiao can also run and box and run. It's not just gonna be yung parang yung salanggam. Kung may nakita ng langgam na kumakain ng malaking cockroach, hindi. Makakatakbo rin si Pacquiao, man. Like, it's not, hindi, hindi lang yung, it's not just a numbers game. Nice. Just bob, bobo yung mga fourth graders. Ano pa alam nila? Mag-coloring. I mean. Uh-oh. Hindi pa uh, nga sila adept sa fractions eh. Oh my. Hindi nice. sila adept. Yeah. Pati hey, itong mga fourth graders na to, I, 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 hindi ako sure dun sa mga statements na ano kanina, pero I believe in facts, pal. Okay, okay. <laughs> hindi natin alam kung itong mga 4th graders na to parang, ano nga, nagbubuat ng mga big ass or something like that. <laughs> pero oh, itong facts, pal. The first boxer in history to win major world titles in four of the original eight weight classes of boxing. Manny Pacquiao. Anong anong alam ng mga bata na to sa fighting? Mga overhand strikes? Oo oh, nga. Madali lang salagin yun eh. Yeah, Kasi so, hindi sila classically trained. And don't forget na when Manny Pacquiao punches one fourth grader in the face, magiging 39 na. And then as the numbers go down, diba, it, it's gonna work less in their favor. Like, you forget na, like, okay, na-KO ko na itong isang fourth grader. Oh my God. Like, I don't know, it, it'll resurrect ng ibang team like, it just, It's just gonna, the numbers are gonna keep going down. I don't know yung punching power, Alexa, ni Manny Pacquiao. 30 seconds. Ano, 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 ano. It's two tons of pressure, pare. Two tons of pare. pressure, pare. pare. It'll be like a Mortal Kombat fatality. Pati, gano'n ka coordinated ang 54th graders at oh, this my. point in time, pare? Oh, my. Teacher na, di sila makontrol, di ba? Oh, totoo, totoo. Teacher, hindi makontrol. Ah. Manny Pacquiao, pare. Here, here. <laughs> 10 yeah. seconds. Closing. Close close it up, boys. Oh, let's close it by saying uh, we think Manny Pacquiao will win. Yes. No effort, no sweat. Damn. Just power. There oh. you go. Team 2 arguing the dumbness of the fourth graders. Ooh. As well as the punch and run. <laughs> Pacquiao can just punch and run away at every corner until mm-hmm. he's until he's whittled down 50 all the way to 1. Okay, okay. Fair points on both sides. Time for the second strike. Team one, the floor is yours yet again. Starting now. I know it's not clap back time yet, but I have a lot to Ooh. clap back. Starting early. Hell yeah. Go, Sari. Sabi ni Andrin, bobo daw fourth graders. I don't know. Baka yun yung experience niya as a fourth grader. Ooh, <laughs> attacking the <laughs> <universe meetings. laughs> Okay, I see. I see. Hey, it's not your turn to talk. Okay. You shut up. Yeah. Keep quiet. <laughs> Teachers though, di sila control, which just shows how is Manny Pacquiao going to control them? Ooh, and ding, they are ding. assuming that what's going to happen is the fourth graders will just attack mm-hmm. aimlessly. Like, wala, basta attack. Um, they can also hide. Ooh. They can also run. Hide and seek. Pwede silang mag teams in little teams and then they come at him in waves. Damn. Five waves of ten. Yeah, that's a great point. But I feel that our fourth graders are not the type to hide. You know, they're. Ooh. You know, I think they're coordinated. Yeah. You know, they're ready uh, going against his teammates. Uh... No, no, no. Because that's a great point. They can hide, but I think we can take on Pacquiao a lot better if we surrounded him from all corners, so he didn't. He can't run. You know, mm. like Alexia used the point that what if like Pacquiao just uses his expert footwork? But what use is your footwork if you have no feet, pare? Ooh, you know? <laughs> ding, ding, ding! You know yeah, these you four graders, they're gonna we're gonna get your feet. We're gonna get Pacquiao's feet, sorry, not your feet. But <laughs> we're, you know, you you just talk about run and punch, run and punch. That's the only strategy you have. 
and you're way in over your head if you think that's gonna work. You know, Pacquiao has already eight losses in his career, and that's just just versus one individual. How about fifty individuals? You know, and you 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 talk about fourth graders as, as if they're nothing. But don't you remember that Pacquiao was also once a fourth grader? You know, what if these are the future Pacquiao's? Yes, Ooh. Aldo. Yes. Damn, Aldo, arguing lineage. And to add to that. Oh. Isn't Manny Pacquiao in the government? Mm-hmm. What's it gonna look like if he beats up 54th graders? Ooh, oh, looking at the optics. Yan. That can't Scandal be good for his career. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oopsies. Punching okay. kids, a big no-no. Mm-mm-mm. All right, well, you guys got 35 seconds left, so use them wisely. You know, I don't think we need it, but then let's go. Because these guys are... Ooh, they, I think we've confident. won already, you know? Like, oh, like, yeah, eh. I feel that too. Damn, and then like, early. Sign of strength. No, no, no. I, th- I think we can, you know, go a bit more. You know, these kids have known each other since prep. That's like more than four years of, like, knowing each other. They've Ooh. got they've got camaraderie. They've got they can rapport. Plan. Yes. They've got chemistry. Mm-hmm. If they see one of their own kind get punched in the face, they're going to get mad. Ooh. And they're going to win. Five seconds. Shall we end it there? Yeah. Team yes, one, arguing tactics, strategy, and seasoned fourth graders. They are not dumb. These are smart individuals. They got options, Patty. They got options. All right. Lots to address. Team two, time for your second strike. And it shall begin now. Manny Pacquiao is a father. He's a boxer, <laughs> professional basketball player. You're here. Government official. As a father, pare, you play with your kids. You play hide and seek. You see him, but you say, ah, nasang ka? Nasang ka? <laughs> Hiding is not an option for these children. These weak willed and weak minded children. Sa sila tatago sa ilalim ng table, hoping that Manny Pacquiao doesn't find them. Yeah, Manny Pacquiao right. season. They Manny kind of Pacquiao proved season. our point, Alexio, mm-hmm. na takot, tal- matatakot talaga yung fifth grader, uh, mga fifth graders, fourth graders pala kay Pacquiao. And people are forgetting that, you know, authority pare. Matanda si Pacquiao. Kids are gonna be scared of adults. Psychological hammer pare. Ooh. Oh. The psychological hammer. The mental and, game. And like, it's not. Yeah, ikaw muna, Alexio. Oh, <laughs> oh, I think, ano siya eh, wala pa sila sa point of puberty na nagre-rebel din na sila eh. Sabi na ni Manny Pacquiao sa kanila, uy, tayo, tatayo sila. In a very authoritative voice, pa. Pila kayo, isa-isa. 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, need I go on. Mas pare, like, um, si Margarito dati, si Pacquiao, sinapakyo si Margarito. Tapos natanggal yung orbital bone niya. Mm. Out of it. Yeah, na basta dude. Ano kaya kung ginawa sa bata yon? And by the way, y- yung hear it nila na it doesn't look good kay Manny Pacquiao if he keeps like punching these kids to death. But I think that's the least of his worries, pare. Yeah. <laughs> plus, <laughs> plus, let's be fair. Paano kung evil yung mga parents ng mga fifth graders to fourth Ooh. graders na to? That would be fair. Like teaching Maybe. their kids some discipline through big fists in the face. Oh, oh but the feeling ko naman sa situation na to, okay, nasa void style. Mm. There are no weapons here. I'm sure Manny Pacquiao didn't bring his gloves to mm. soften the blow. Oh, this God. is a bare knuckle pugilist Pacquiao. Man. Knuckles to the face. Hindi nga kailangan sa mukha eh. Kahit sa chan lang, babagsak yan eh. Oh. Babagsak yan sa chan. Man. Tama mo sa kidneys, bass rootin style. That liver shot. These kids are down, pal. Some These of that mar- some of that marvelin marvelous marvelin ha- haggler uppercuts, pal. <laughs> Thirty wow, seconds. Para ano she? It's it's like Joe Frazier versus Manny Pacquiao. It's <laughs> 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 si Joe Frazier, si Manny Pacquiao, and si Manny Pacquiao yung mga bata. Ooh. As you wave some kids, if you fuck up lang ni Manny, yun, he's gonna be sitting in the throne of dead fourth graders by the end of this, <laughs> by the end of the battle. So yeah. Mm. I will reserve my other judgments for the clapback. Yes. We can address all of Wonderful. Hello. My notes are ready. That's perfect. It's been three minutes. The second strike of Team 2 is officially done. Team 2 is arguing intimidation mm-hmm. and rope and Manny Pacquiao's stature. 
as well as not knowing, are these kids good or evil? They could be evil, in which case Manny Pacquiao is doing the Lord's work. So now we will move on to the formal clapbacks. Mm-hmm. No new points may be raised at this point in the game. You may only address things that have already been brought up. Again, you will have three minutes. Team one shall go first, and your time starts now. Okay, let's talk about intimidation. Yes, it is very likely na matakot yung mga bata kay mm-hmm. Manny Pacquiao. But that is not to say that children of their age do not have defense mechanisms. Ooh. It's a biological fact. When you see a baby crying, mm-hmm. you will have an urge to do something about it, to, to protect it, to just mm-hmm. address the issue. Mm-hmm. And that is their own kind of defense mechanism. Mm-hmm. They, they are helpless. And so they will cry in order to get someone stronger, someone older, to protect them. Mm-hmm. That being said, these fourth graders can reason it out with him. Ooh. Sir Manny, Sir Manny, wag naman please. Oh. I'm just mm-hmm. fourth grader. Damn, the puppy dog style. Yes. There you go. And as we know, the bum Manny Pacquiao is a good guy. He's got a heart. Is he? We don't know for we sure. We don't. But we can assume. Mm. I mean, you know, I'm sure, like, like Alexa said, he's a father. Uh, he plays hide and seek. Damn. And pretends na hindi niya nakikita. I mean, I think that's the sign of a guy with a heart. Fair point. Yes. Arguing to Manny Pacquiao's softer side. Aldo, anything to add? To, to enforce Sari's already strong point. You guys, you talk as if you know Pacquiao personally, you know? But then you guys forget that he is also a Christian man. Ooh. What, really? Punching a kid in the face is like, you know, stopping yourself from getting in the gates of heaven. You know, that that's it's gotta be a rule somewhere that you can't punch kids. And you know, mm-hmm. you're you're all ta- you're talking about the psychology of these kids, but you guys forget after you know seeing your own comrade, your own classmate, like at least two kids get punched in the face. That that is when the fight or flight kicks in. That's when they're gonna take down Pacquiao. Take down take him down by his legs. Mm-hmm. Take away the power. Take away the legs, take away the power. Mm-hmm. Fight or flight. I'll do with the legs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, the legs and leg are. He's a leg man. Yeah. Yeah. All and right. they also brought up we don't know if these kids are good or evil. If they're evil, maybe they deserve it. Well, if they're evil, then you best be sure they're gonna take down Manny Pacquiao. Ooh. Oh yes. And also, if he's a Christian, he would convert them evil kids into Christianity rather than punch them because that is the Christian way. And where is your fight now? Ooh, damn. Fair point. So if you were to say that Pacquiao would win against our 54th graders, you would be proving that Pacquiao is not a Christian man. Damn. And just like that, the three minutes are over. Team one clapping back with religion. <laughs> a very strong <laughs> point. As well as the ethics and psychology. And, and psychology of this entire debate. A lot for team two to clap back to, but they look ready. They look fired up. Team two, it is time to clap back. Right now! Manny Pacquiao is the best boxer in the Philippines. Here, here. Okay, the argument that Manny Pacquiao is a Christian man. A, 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 a God-loving Christian man. Who, who would resort to no fights whatsoever. The but Man fights for a living. And also, he's for the jury and executioner in this situation. Kung malaman niya, kung malaman niya na evil tong mga bata na. He himself would would be charged by passion para ito. Tapos mananapak na siya mga bata non-stop. A berserk. A frenzy. Yeah, and sa mga points si Sari and Aldo na, Ooh, Christian man, he's gonna show some compassion. Dude, this is a fight to the death, pare. Do you think, pare, you're still gonna show compassion when you see all of these fourth graders try to kill you? It's survival of the fittest, pare. Sabi nga ni Shishio sa Samurai X. Sabi ni Shishio. Yeah. Uh... And yung sinasabi ni Aldo na, kilala ba natin si Manny Pacquiao? Kaya ba? Kilala niyo ba itong mga fourth graders na to? Ooh, ding-ding. All of these ding, ding. fourth graders. 
Shut up! Please. Oh! Ah. Sinabi nyo kanina, these kids are scrappy. Well, I gotta tell you, this Manny Pacquiao is scrappy as well, man. That's why he's where he is right now. Kasi dinala niya yung scrap niya. Pinroof niya yung sarili niya, man. And Aldo said, hey, take away the legs. Parang you're, you're like, parang ini-imply mo na maganda rin yung legs ng mga fourth graders ito. Pacquiao is built better <laughs> than a regular fourth grader. Like, he's just, you're saying that, puto, like, like a wheelchair si Pacquiao ngayon. He's not. He's still spry and... Jolty. That's why he's still fighting, man. Yeah. That's why he me, medyo natalo nga siya kay si kay U- Ugas. Ugas, Ugas, yeah. Pero he still clap back. And one more thing, nung fourth Straining. grade sorry, I won a medal. Ha? Huh? Amo nalala ko medal sa Emperor's New Clothes Best Orator. And I was pretty smart nung fourth grade sorry. So yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we mentioned that uh, the teachers can't control these kids. Tapos uh-huh. mo, if these teachers can't control them, how can Manny Pacquiao? Manny Pacquiao is no teacher. Manny Pacquiao is a fighter, pal. Damn. Damn. A man who fights. Yeah, and he would control these kids with his fist, pal. I bet mean, they would seconds. shut up if they, he just punched them and they'd probably die. That's how he controls them, with his fist, man. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but the Manny Pacquiao is also one of those guys like your your kids na may fight or flight pa rin. Dati, nakikipagsapakan siya para lang makapag dinner pa rin. Para makapag dinner yung pamilya niya. So he knows more than these kids. He's stronger than these kids. Damn. These, these kids are weak as fuck. Damn. Even Zoom getting in on that. The internet mm-hmm. couldn't handle that statement. Just like that, the three minutes are over. I'm sorry to cut you off, guys. But team number two clapping back with the fighter's mentality and that the fighting spirit knows no age. <laughs> it only knows the opponent. Fair point. Fair point. Um, as the host, I must say that it's looking very even right now. I don't know where I'm going to lean. And I feel that this next segment shall determine the winner. It is the free for all. No holds barred. You may go at each other without any rules, ask questions, taunt the other team, whatever you may please, for three minutes, beginning now. Okay, I want to go first and say that go, go. this is getting to Andrew on a personal level. Ooh. And he is losing his cool. Damn okay, it. okay. Wait, to be fair, no. to be fair. It's no, Sari who it brought is my turn. Sari. Just mm-hmm. talk. It's you free just talk. It, it is a free for all matter. I am free to say you must stop talking now. Andrew, okay. you are free to respond immediately. She, she was the one who brought it there. I'm sure people who listen to this will side with me. Because she brought it to that level and I wasn't expecting that. But no, I tried to Andrin, remain... I'm really glad that you were a smart fourth grader. And I'm so happy that you You're won that right. medal. I'm just going right, out that you just contradicted your own point. You are okay. the one who brought up that fourth graders are stupid. When you yourself know by expe- from experience that they are not stupid. Ooh. But I was a dumb fourth grader. <laughs> 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 Nothing changed since then, brother. And this <laughs> argument will prevail, yeah. Manny Pacquiao, pare. Manny Pacquiao has been ranked second on ESPN's list of top boxers pound for pound for the past 25 years. Sino yeah. 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 number one? But you know who's number one? number one? It's the 54th graders. They're that's number not one. true, pare. That yes. that is not true. Other <laughs> spitting fake news. And that's what it said. <laughs> <laughs> but they would oh, be number one hey. if they were qualified to go against Pacquiao. And they would reach that number one spot if they were given the chance by ESPN. And alam mo, Aldo, hindi mo ba alam may fighting spirit ba tong fourth graders? Yes, they, they do. They, they, they do. Coward. They're not well, cowards. They're scared no, cats, if they see their they comrades sh- get hit in the face, takot sila sa kidlat. Takot sila, takot sila sa kidlat. I think you're speaking for yourself rather takot than these fourth ugi graders. Takot sila sa monsters na nakatira Sino ba tong mga fourth graders na to na mga noni? Um, excuse oh. me, these kids yeah. have names and it's on their polos. It's oh. written there. If you give you, if you really give the time of day, that's not really you would an read. <laughs> Aldo, let's read well, that depending one. on the school. Yes, you know, oh, Pacquiao has school. his name on his belt. These kids have their names on their polos. These, my Pacquiao has a name on his belt because he is a champion. Pare. Yes, pare. he is the man. These kids, pare, these 
these mysterious chil- these fictional but children But Pacquiao has had time to earn that belt. Now you gotta hand it to these kids. Now they're just they're just going for mm, it. Into and the they've fire. only been around for what? 10 years mm, on this exactly. earth? These Sinitong, kids, these kids have more to live to. for. They have more to live for because Pacquiao is reading like he's, he's he's already reaching his midlife already. These kids are just getting started. They have more zest Wait, for life. To be, to be fair, kids don't have a concept of death yet of fourth grade. Oh yeah, they, they have do. These they kids do. Though. Oh, they the fourth don't. graders they know what they totally death is. Dude. They've seen their lola die. That's why They've seen fourth their graders jump off fences. Or if they anything. don't have a concept of death yet, that means they just have no fear of it at all. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. Three minutes are over. We're going to have to what? wrap up the what? Call. Ah, and was cool the free for all that was. <laughs> Wow, a lot to think about. Um, much to review, but alas, there must be a winner. <sighs> After taking in both sides, I have determined, as host of this first episode of The Verbal Jousts, the winner is Team One. And team two, what? I what? declare what? a tie. What? What is no. this shit, man? No way. So no. fuck you, so mga nagikinig niyo. I think a swim. I see a swim. <laughs> too many good uh, points on both sides. Great points. No one I felt really climbed over the hill. And really cemented their place as winners. In, uh, I'm sorry, it was just too good. In the spirit of boxing, we shall end in a draw. What? Yeah. <laughs> split decision. A split decision. It was just too good. Just too good. And now, as a sign of respect and in uh, respect for each other's fighting spirit, we shall now commence with the no hard feeling segment of the show. <laughs> this is when both sides basically make peace and shake hands at the duel that okay. has just commenced. Can I go Proceed. First? Proceed. Uh, I would like to apologize to Alexia and Andrin for, for calling you too dumb. Um, yes, you mm. may have been dumb when you were in fourth grade, but I think you guys have grown no, I, I as human dumb. beings. I wasn't dumb. Oh, no. Oh. Smart. That, that comes as a surprise, but uh, but okay, I take that back also, and I'm I'm sorry for any ill comments. I don't like these veiled insults. Oh my! <laughs> you, you, you this is no hard feelings. feelings. No, hard. no, I took it back. Aggression. Took it back. That was just oh. in the moment. I'm sorry. Okay. That's, oh, gusto mo ganting Aldo, I really like your hairstyle. Para you, I'm sorry with how you took it. <laughs> uh, intention uh, over impact. Uh, I, I would like to uh, congratulate you both for uh, for for getting the time. <laughs> Do you know yeah. what, I mean? it's, uh, what a what a way to end the show. Yeah, we, um, we share it. Very good points you brought up. Uh, it was a good fight. Uh, gotta get in there. Uh, work on our defense. <laughs> uh, second half, they almost had us, but. Uh, I feel like, like we also put up a good fight, and uh, we'll see you next time. Next time, go. Oh. We meet at the court. All right. Anything else to say? Sorry. Very good fight. Good Very fight. good fight. Mm-hmm. I am. Um, I commend your showmanship, Alexio and Andrin. Mm-hmm. Very good showmanship, mm-hmm. and Andrin. I want you to know, I really am proud of you for getting that medal in the Ooh. fourth grade. There you Thank go. You. That medal Thank doesn't you. count. It counts. Great for- Great for pain. This is the no hard feelings <laughs> segment. I think it's a. I think it's a great thing. Why did we get in fighting teams at this point? <laughs> Not just because we saw Andrin, but we were on thin ice. We were on thin ice. This relationship was going down the drain. Yeah. It's no hard it feelings between teams, but teammates were there. Oh. Uh, I would since it's a name. I would. I accept your apology for being wrong. Sorry and. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, that good I fight. Apologize to you. Ooh, another you veiled. You, Aldo? you no. brought up. You said you don't like veiled compliments and veiled insults, pala. I and you just brought one up you. now. Just, you, you didn't apologize to me. Okay, okay. I just said you, I appreciate. Like I'm, I'm proud of you for winning that medal in the fourth grade. Oh. That's uh, all yeah. I said. Uh-oh. No okay. hard segment going off the rails. Okay, just, okay. just, just, 
take it and and run back. Fair enough. I will. Okay. I'm the bigger man. I'm the bigger man. In this <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, Andrin. Okay. Yeah, yeah you're the bigger wanna... man. It, the it's king. not supposed to go this way. How is this no yeah, hard let's, feelings? Let's... <laughs> ruins the entire concept. <laughs> I would like to say that Aldo and I made a wonderful team. <laughs> oh yes, Indeed. we both did. of you made excellent teams. And on that note, I think let's close the book on this episode of Verbal Jousts. I'd like to remind everyone to please continue supporting Solid OK. Follow Solid OK TV on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, wherever you want to, really. That was an amazing first joust. And I thank the competitors, Team 1, Sari and Aldo. Joust, joust. Joust, joust. And Team 2, Alexio and Andrin. Keep it snizzle, Spur. There you Remain go. Remain rancid. On that note, Till next time on the Verbal Jousts!